Mark Zuckerberg just launched a full-blown coup inside the AI world. We're talking billion-dollar power moves, $100 million signing bonuses, and a bold attempt to rip the brain out of OpenAI, all to build one thing, superintelligence. The Wall Street Journal confirmed it. Meta poached three top OpenAI researchers just last week. Their names? Lucas Beyer, Alexander Kolesnikov, and Xiaohua Jai, all from OpenAI's elite Zurich office. And that's not all. Meta's already hired at least 11 more top-tier researchers from OpenAI in what might be the most aggressive talent raid Silicon Valley has ever seen. Even Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, accused Meta of offering $100 million bonuses to steal his people. And now, it's working. This isn't just a rivalry. This isn't business as usual. This is Zuckerberg declaring war on the entire AI world. And here's how he's doing it. Just a year ago, Meta looked like it was slipping in the AI race. While Google and OpenAI were racing ahead with ChatGPT and Gemini, Meta was busy trying to keep El Llama relevant. El Llama 4 had just dropped, and it landed with a thud. Critics said it was good, but not groundbreaking. And in the world of AI, good isn't enough. Inside Meta, the pressure was rising. The company was bleeding top talent, and its bold open-source AI push seemed to be losing steam. But that's when Zuckerberg pulled the ultimate pivot. He didn't double down. He detonated the whole plan and started from scratch. Zuckerberg did something that shocked even his own executives. He personally created a hit list, a private list of the most brilliant AI minds on the planet. And then he sent his people out with offers that made headlines, $100 million signing bonuses. Not total comp, just the signing bonus. Sam Altman confirmed it himself, saying Meta was targeting his team with jaw-dropping offers. Meta's CTO, Andrew Bosworth, later tried to clarify, saying the deals were more complex than they appeared. But the message was clear. Meta was coming, hard, and it was personal. Altman fired back, saying, I've heard that Meta thinks of us as their biggest competitor. He was right. But Meta's plan wasn't just about salaries. It was about infrastructure and timing. In a stunning $14.3 billion move, Meta bought a 49% stake in Scale AI, one of the most valuable AI infrastructure companies in the world. Scale had what Meta desperately needed, world-class data pipelines, elite model training tools, and a brilliant CEO, Alexander Wang, just 28 years old and already being called the next Elon Musk of AI. But Meta didn't buy Scale just for tech. They bought it to steal the brain trust. Wang stepped away from Scale's leadership and was immediately tapped to lead Meta's new superintelligence team. Zuckerberg had his architect. Now it was time to build. Then came the Zurich extraction. According to the Wall Street Journal, Meta successfully recruited three heavyweights from OpenAI's Zurich office. Lucas Beyer, Alexander Kolesnikov, Xiaohua Jai, all three had been instrumental in building OpenAI's core systems including key work on vision, perception, and multimodal reasoning. When asked for comment open A, I simply confirmed their departure. No fight, no press release, just silence. But inside open AI, the damage was clear. CEO Sam Altman said it felt like someone broke into our home and stole something. That wasn't just poetic, it was desperation. And if you thought it stopped there, it didn't. The information dropped more bombshells. Meta had poached four more top OpenAI researchers, Shengjie Zhao, Jiahui Yushu Chaobi Hongyu Ren. These aren't interns or mid-level hires. These are the people behind. GPT-4, multimodal post-training, Gemini reasoning models, synthetic data optimization, reinforcement learning systems. Meta even scored Trapit Bansal, the co-creator of the O-series models and an architect of chain of thought reasoning, one of the most important AI innovations of the last 18 months. Piece by piece, Meta was gutting OpenAI's brain power. This was now a full-scale defection. And the goal? Not just large language models. Zuckerberg wants AGI, artificial general intelligence. A machine that can think, reason, and operate like a human. Maybe even better. The hits kept coming. And OpenAI? They were on vacation, literally. The entire company took the week off to recharge, just as Meta accelerated its attack. Internal memos from OpenAI leaked quickly. Chief scientist Mark Chen sent a note that sounded like a plea. I feel a visceral feeling, as if someone has broken into our home. Chen admitted morale was slipping. He admitted comp packages were outdated, and he promised to recalibrate everything, 
to retain what talent they had left. He said he was working around the clock with Sam Altman to plug the leaks. But how do you stop a company with a trillion dollar war chest and no ceiling? Meta has cash, data, infrastructure, and now, elite talent. Open AI, it's still private, still mission focused, but comparatively, they're David fighting Goliath. And Goliath has just started swinging. Then came the final blow. An internal memo leaked from Zuckerberg himself. Meta was launching an entirely new division, Meta Super Intelligence Labs, MSL. This would include all foundational AI teams, product development teams, research labs, and a brand new facility dedicated entirely to AGI. And leading the charge, Alexander Wong, now officially Meta's chief AI officer. Nat Friedman, the former CEO of GitHub, co-leading the new lab. Together, they're building what Zuckerberg believes will be the most powerful AI team in history. The leaked memo read, we're bringing all of this under one roof. Our mission is simple. Build the next generation of AI and lead the world into the superintelligence era. OpenAI's former golden children are now working for Meta. And this isn't just about AI models anymore. This is about the future of intelligence itself. In just a few months, Meta went from second tier player and to prime contender for AGI dominance. By poaching top minds from OpenAI, DeepMind, Google, and Anthropic, Zuckerberg built a secret weapon, and now the world knows about it. OpenAI is trying to recover, trying to hold on to its soul, but Meta? Meta is now a runaway train, fueled by money, driven by genius, and aimed straight at the heart of the AI arms race. And the craziest part? We're only at the beginning. The real war for artificial superintelligence hasn't even started yet. So here's the question. Will Meta's all-star brain trust lead humanity into a golden era of AI? Or are we watching the rise of something far bigger, far smarter, and far more dangerous than anyone is ready for? Let us know what you think in the comments. And if you made it this far, give the video a like, hit subscribe, and stay tuned. Because this story, it's just getting started.